G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. I've picked up a uh, Milescraft Circle Guide Kit and I need to use it for a project where I need to cut a very large circle. I decided to use the router as a way to do this because it would give me a really clean cut. Circle Guide Kit comes with a few bits. It uses the uh, Milescraft Turnlock base plate, which it comes with it, so you don't need to buy that separately. Basically what this allows you to do is lock your router into a number of different devices, such as the Circle Guide Kit, in a really simple and quick way. Um, so you've got your base plate, which you have to put onto your router. There's plenty of good instructions in the box to do that. Then you've got this uh, Circle Guide base plate. You've got your big aluminium ruler. That goes together. You basically use that to create the radius. And it also has this nifty little one which allows you to do smaller circles as well. So this circle guide kit actually comes with a little router bit uh, which will work perfectly with it. It's a quarter inch router bit and it gives you an accurate measurement of the inside and the outside of the cut, which is really handy. For this Lazy Susan that I'm making, I'd really like to do this cut with a spiral up cut bit. I think the cut will be cleaner, I think it'll be a little bit faster, but the disadvantage is I don't get the accuracy of the inside and the outside cut measurement, so I'm just gonna have to um, place that myself. It's actually really simple, but I just wanted to let you know that that is a feature which comes with it. For this Lazy Susan, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is mark the center point, because that's gonna be the point at which this whole apparatus revolves around. I've done that just by um, drawing across from the corners, and then I've drawn my circle really quickly using a compass so that I know that it's going to fit inside this uh, 800 by 800 board that I've created. I get that little base plate, I place it over my centre, I'm going to pre-drill a tiny hole there and just use this little screw which comes with it to locate that in place. Now I'm doing all of this from the bottom of the piece that I'm working on, in this case the Lazy Susan, because I don't want to have that little hole in the top of my Lazy Susan when it's finished. That's also why I'm going to use this little spiral up cut here because it'll mean that the cleanest edge of my cut is actually going to be on the opposite side that I'm working which when I flip it over will be the top side of this piece. Alright, putting a little pilot hole in the centre. Doesn't need to go in very far. They actually throw a little drill bit in the kit too which is handy. Put my little screw through that nipple. and that's on there, sturdy, perfectly in the center. So, this little black piece of the apparatus has a circle in the bottom, and that gets located onto our little red center locator there. And then, we place our circle guide base plate onto the ruler itself, making sure that we engage the uh, little metal uh, T-slot piece and that locks in place there and basically what this allows us to do is set this at any, any length that we want, lock that off, place our router in there and we'll do our circle in a couple of passes. As I mentioned earlier I'm going to use a little spiral upcut bit for this, for this circle. The reason I want to use this as opposed to a um, standard straight bit is it just gives me a really smooth cut and it especially gives me a really smooth face on the lower side and that's the face that I want to keep perfectly square when I've actually finished this, this uh, Lazy Susan. I've locked the circle base onto the ruler. This main pivot is still sliding because we need to adjust that later. I've put the, uh, the router bit tucked just below the height of the base plate because I don't want it scratching the surface right now and I'm going to put the base plate into this uh, circle base. That's just a matter of lining up these little arrows with the uh, circle base, turning it until it locks. It's dead simple. Um, now what we want to do is just uh, lower that route a bit so it's almost touching the table. Slide this along until we're happy that the route a bit is just on the outside of the line. 
and then we're basically ready to cut. And so what we'll do is raise the route a bit by just uh, two or three mils for our first pass, lock this off at exactly the right length, and then we'll get going. So we'll do a few mils at a time until we go through this 19 mil stop. The spiral bit did its job. We went through about, uh, I think it was four passes. Uh, but I'd like to do one more pass around the whole edge, now that I'm not actually cutting through material, just to take half a mil off the entire thing and hopefully get that edge a little bit smoother while the bit isn't kind of bumping along trying to actually cut through stock on both sides. So all I'll do is uh, pull this radius in by a little bit less than a mil, hopefully, and then run around again Hopefully that'll just shave off enough to give me a really smooth edge. Okay, so that, that last pass just really improved the quality of this cut. So I think that's probably an, a necessary step. What I had to do to get that route a bit engaged with the edge, just the tiny amount that I needed, is actually start with this unlocked, with the router bit just off the edge, and then while firmly holding the router, just bring it in so it just touches, and you'll be able to hear it, lock it off, and then go around. Because you can't start the router up when the bit is engaged, because it'll act as a gear, and uh, either rip the timber or just not a good thing to do. The great thing about this is with my center point located here, is I can then use the exact same setup to cut a chamfer around this if I wanted that, or some other kind of decorative profile. You could move it in and do a uh, finger grip or some other decorative feature or shadow line on this board as well. So there's a lot of possibilities for using this thing and it's pretty simple to use.